Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's Thursday. Let's get in to the news. Welcome back. Okay, so quickly, let's go over the first part of the news. Of course, I've gone over this before, but I thought I would touch on it again. Of course, uh, we're getting event gear for Voltaire and one Eye Doll tomorrow. A lot of people are excited for that. It looks pretty cool. Hopefully, I get that outfit for my character. that look nice. The skeleton uh, tank top there. Uh, yeah, so stuff like that we'll probably get along with the brand new class tomorrow also with a 10k AC chest. Now I talked about this in yesterday's video, it'll be in the top right hand corner of your screen, which is probably where my webcam is. So you can click there and see my in-depth thoughts on the 10k uh, Venture Coin chest. It includes a few things, an exclusive color custom, a vampire lore class, which may be the exclusive version, the rare version of the class that they were talking about, or we may have two rare versions of the class. Who knows, we'll have to wait for tomorrow to figure that one out, unless we get some more news on Twitter tonight. Uh, the Vampire Queen Memorial Statue with Quest for Rare Character Page Badge, so you get a badge, and the uh, you can see in the background there the house item. A Dark Butler Pet with House Item Shop, so there's a Dark Butler Pet right there, you get a shop with that. A 5 Event Armors plus Accessories, so they're doing 3 weeks worth of releases and they're putting it all into this 10k AC chest. Now, whether or not you think that's a good deal, that's up to you, of course. Uh, and you do get the exclusive items. All the items that are in red on the on the design notes post, those are all exclusive to the 10k chest. So to get those red items, you need to buy the 10k chest. There's no way to get them otherwise, which I'm not a huge fan of. I would like them to keep the items they're putting into 10k chest to a minimum. And they are going to do more 10k chests in the future. Sadly, uh, at least in my opinion, that's sad. I mean, for some people, that's pretty cool for the collectors that have a lot of money to spend. But for people that don't have a lot of money to spend, it kind of sucks because if there's a small item in there, like a Sephiria statue house item that you would like, and let's say you could buy that for 500 ACs normally, well, now it costs you 10k ACs because it's only available in the chest, which kind of sucks. But yeah, you know. Uh, an exclusive enchanted Vampire Lloyd set, which could be a color custom because the color custom uh, variant of... The class is called Enchanted, so that could be the color custom version of just the armor for the Vampire Lord set. Here's the female version of the Vampire Lord set, by the way, if you have not seen that already, it looks very nice. And uh, here's Elena confirming that they're the holiday events, so some, uh, the sheep asks, are you going to do a 10k AC chest as a regular thing? I don't mind, just curious. And uh, Elena responds with the holiday events are the most likely times we'll release an event rare chest. Uh, they will be a part of the weekly updates. They also did an event chest thing for Adventure Quest 3D uh, with Talk Like a Pirate Day. They put in a thing where you could buy all the items. I don't think it gave you a discount. I think it was just the price of all the items combined. Or maybe it gave you a small discount. I'm not 100% sure with AQ3D. But they also did the chest thing in AQ3D. So it seems to be a model that they're adapting for all their games. Or all their current games that they're working on. So that's interesting. Uh, Vampire Masquerade Armor set, which we've... I don't know if we've seen that yet. Uh, Vampire Shifter Armor, which is just the gender swap version of the uh, class armor. A Royal Vampire Renegade. We have that. I can show that to you right now. Right here is the Royal Vampire Renegade, uh, female and male versions. I don't know why that hair is so long in the back. It would look really nice if there was no back part on the male hair. That's just my opinion. And the female, uh, if there was no back part on that. Uh, it's just a suggestion. I know it's coming out tomorrow, so it's probably my suggestion is probably a little too late. But imagine if that back part wasn't on either of those heads, hairs. It looked pretty nice. And the dark nest ferretu. I have no clue. Okay, it, I googled it. it. Looks like a smeagol. It's like a weird thing with not a lot of hair and like gray skin. It looks very odd. So that's probably not going to be a something that's selling this 10k chest to people. Uh, so that's all the uh, items that are included. A uh, vampire lord castle, which. If it doesn't have a character customization a station, which is a lot of fun to say, character customization station. If it doesn't have this, it's pretty much useless. Uh, like a lot of people have houses at this point which have these in it. And if you release a new house and it doesn't have character customi uh, customization in it, then it's pretty much worthless. So hopefully that'll have that in it. I tried to slash house reens in game before recording this. And when I slash house reens, uh, which is one of the item testers, uh, 
it crashes, the client crashes. So her house is either unavailable to the public or she doesn't even have a house right now because the game just crashes when I go there. And I tried a bunch of different staff uh, staff's houses and none of them had the new house in it. So I couldn't show that to you guys for this video, but I did try to get into it. All right, moving on. If you log in from now till the end of the year, uh, the very end of the year. So on any account that is above the level of nine, so most people's account, I, I would assume if you're not above level nine, then that means you probably haven't even played the game before. So you can make an alt account right now if you want a fresh alt account and get 500 ACs on it pretty easily. There's a referral link in the description which helps me earn XP if you want to sign your alt account up with that link. Um, so yeah, if you log in, you get 500 free ACs. That's, yeah, it's not a lot more to say about that. It's free ACs and hopefully they do this more often. That'd be cool. All right, Xroid suggested something very cool. I mind making a special Eternal Flame for A's 15th birthday. It's a symbol cape to the game, and I'm sure many would enjoy. Uh, with dragon wings, <laughs> Elena replies, and I reply with no wings, and I got a lot of likes, so I guess people agree with that. Uh, or a separate version, like two versions of the cape. All seriousness, the anniversary flame is a great idea, and I'll seriously consider it. So uh, if you don't know what the flames are, I'm wearing an eternal flame right now on my character. It's basically like a, a normal eternal flames don't have the little particle effects on the side of my character right now. But it's just the flame cape, which is really cool. They normally cost 5,000 ACs. Uh, so if they gave one out to all the players for the 15th uh, birthday, that'd be really cool. Or maybe they'll charge for it. Hopefully not. Uh, but it'd be cool to give one out for free players and if it had the Arctic Entertainment colors like the orange and red or something like that That'd be really cool also All right, Arnix or Aranex or however you say his name. I always pronounce it wrong uh, has a new set of sep Sepker Sepker <laughs> Inspired gear. I I can't pronounce anything. I don't know if you guys know that um looks pretty cool Maybe a monthly package or new farming gear for an event. Uh, Elena said there was also gonna be a good version of this So we'll have to see what happens with that in the future And I would guess a good version would be a uh, for the 12k 12 month uh, Tier if it was a monthly package. We'll see in the future. What happens with that? Ghost which is one of the cutscene animators for AQW is working on cutscene which includes the Cauldron sisters So you can look forward to that hopefully tomorrow or maybe in the future. We'll see and uh, Elena replied to someone's tweet about an idea they had for future content. Uh, I would love if AQW would release a hidden room, hidden rooms all over lore with super high level bosses that go over level cap. The best part would be that A would not spoil it for us and it could be found in those boss drops, uh, strong merge items. All that, most of the bosses. Is, Okay, I'm reading a tweet. Okay, at certain types of mechanics that make them unique, like the Chaos Lords, of course, bosses that would not be impossible. What are your thoughts on this? And then Elena replies, it sounds like really fun bonus content. So you could like the Eternal Flame. Might happen, maybe, maybe not, we'll see. Uh, of course, if someone finds a room like that, it's going to explode on Twitter and everyone's going to know about it the second someone finds the secret hidden room with the high level boss in it. But it'd still be cool content to have in the game, a high level boss with merge items to farm for. I like that idea. And last but not least, if you play AQ3D, I think on the same day or if they delayed it, I'm not 100%, but sometime this weekend, they're updating it uh, with Mogoween up with a Mogoween update. And it looks really cool. There's a bunch of transformations like a skeleton, a pumpkin transformation to transform your character into that, that they've been talking about for Mogoween for AQ3D. And if you're interested in that, of course, you can find uh, AQ3D on Steam, iOS, and Android. So that's their new game. They've been working a lot on that. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it's okay. It's an okay game. Nice casual game like AQW, but it is 3D. So it depends on how much you like that. So that is all the news we have for the week. Uh, not a lot, but some cool stuff like 500 free ACs. That's pretty awesome. Uh, new Eternal Flame. That would be really sick for the 15th anniversary. And of course, there is a brand new class coming out, and I will be live streaming it. Uh, I'm going to grab the class as soon as it's released in the game, rank it up as fast as I can, and uh, see how good that new class is. So hopefully by the time I get rank 10, you guys will know whether or not you should get it also, and there'll be rare versions of it so I can tell you whether or not to spend your money on it. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.
Peace. Check out the last video if you haven't seen it already. It's in the top right hand corner. Have a good one. Bye bye.